you're going to create this beautiful terracotta pot with lots of flowers to brighten your day. Let's get started. We have cut a five inch template, okay? And make sure that you just center it out. What you wanna make sure is your knife angled a little bit and it will have to go down to this size. Just trim it part by part. Also because this is a pot, meaning the bottom part is smaller than the upper part, five inch is a good enough size to be able to bear the weight of this whole cake. Want to make sure to flip it really fast so that it's not going to slip onto the board. From this, we are now going to crumb coat the cake. Short angle palette knife. Make sure to put pressure as you go up and down. So I'm going to use the Bendy scraper to scrape off and even off the buttercream that I have applied. And any excess buttercream, I'm just going to put it on to the top. And now we're ready to pipe all our flowers. So we will start with our dahlia. We are gonna use a Wilton 102. So if you think of a dahlia, it's like a bowly flower. So we will try and achieve that um, particular shape. So you would want to start at the edge, the edge petals. So just three words to remember. Squeeze, stop, stop pull. pull. So just give it a small squeeze and then just go all the way around. Making sure that the wide end of your piping tip is the one towards you or touching the flower nail. You wanted to make sure that the, the, the petals are kind of going up or making like a round shape. Feel it a little on the center and then do again your squeeze top pull. So play around with the sizes of your dahlias. And you can also play with the different shades of your color. So when you're choosing colors, it would be a good idea to take inspiration from a real bouquet or choose complementing colors. So using your scissors, transfer this onto the board. All right, onto the next one. So to do the rows, you want it to start with a good size block because it is where all the petals are going to be attached. Right on the very top, your hands tilted in and you keep on squeezing as you turn your flower. Just remember your petals are kind of arches. Okay, so in the beginning, your arches are going to be short and low. And then as you progress with the petals, it is kind of getting longer and higher as well. So this entire tray now gets into the freezer. It stays there for just about five minutes. And after five minutes, we're going to take them out and put them all together on our terracotta pot. Now that our cake has been chilled in the fridge for about 10-15 minutes, so it's now hard enough, we are ready to apply our final coverage. So this would mean it's the same process, but just a thicker amount of buttercream. I am just going to do a little bit of marble color, which is slightly white. I'm just going to squeeze out a little bit, small amount in random spaces, blend it out. The smooth base, we will need, ta-da! Our very own innovation, it's called cake cloth. Basically, you will just place the cloth onto the surface and then use your hand or the palm of your hand to just rub it to flatten all the lines, the bumps, to make it really smooth. Now we are ready to pipe borders on the top, uh, top bit of our terracotta pipe. It's going to give a different texture on our flower pot. So you want it to go counterclockwise first. So just give it a good squeeze as you work your way to the right. Then at the bottom of it, you do the other way around, which is clockwise. Now on the top bit and on the bottom bit, want to give it a really good squeeze, release, squeeze, release, squeeze, release, all the way down. What we want is the crumbled cake, okay, and I'm going to squeeze in a little bit more 
buttercream and what you want now is to just kind of like mash it together so that later on you can shape your cake. We come coated the top bit already, mm -hmm. so yeah, it's fresh and uh, the, this flower style uh, can easily adhere onto the cake. I'm excited! <laughs> Let's go! <laughs> so you wanted something that should look more organic mm -hmm. and more natural. So leaves we're gonna use to build a 352, which is like a letter V shape. And all we have to do is we want to squeeze it really well and slowly move away. Now this time you want to do some so look at these two colors. So what you wanted to do is you wanted to put the first color first on one side and then fill it with your white. So just give it a good squeeze. And as you squeeze, you wiggle. All right, again, squeeze, squiggle. So now, just finish off the cake. All the spaces, all the gaps, fill it with leaves, and your magic squiggles.